Hi everyone, Steph here. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today I would like to share with you a mini album that I created. As I've mentioned in a few videos back that I am on another personal challenge behind the scenes trying to use up my craft stuff, my craft stash. And that's mostly um, papers because it it's kind of getting overwhelming. So a uh, mini album is the best way to use up a lot of papers in one project but for this project particular project I'm using uh, like a mini album type kit that my friend Tere who is paper lover here on YouTube and I'll put a channel in the description box below so you could go and say hi to her you know and subscribe check out her chan her videos uh, she always gift me with beautiful stuff and uh, she know that I'm a die and die cuts junkie so she share her um, die um, she shared die cuts with from her dye collection which she have an amazing collection of dyes so what she did was she sent this paper pad to me but she cut out some of her dyes and put together like a mini album kit sorry for the glare this is what left from the album that I did and she created two um, two kits and this is one that I'm sorry for the glare this is one that um, she put together so what she did was the she created the cover already basically I just have to stick the paper which is chipboard and it's a scallop edge so that was very nice and smart of her to you know so I don't have to fussy cut around the scallop edge and within it is all type of die cuts that she created to put inside of a mini album which is stuff like um, envelopes and other die cuts so and she sent the remaining um, papers for me to finish the album and it was she barely used um, she barely dent this paper pad so I got like three fourths of a paper pad and I absolutely am happy and thrilled that you know she sent this to me so as you see there we have a bunch so let me show you what I created and like I've explained in the past the last um, mini album video I don't have titles or any theme to the album until I know where they're going or who is buying it and you know the reason behind it and then I will completely finish it so this is it um, the cover is plain the paper is beautiful it has a lot of glitters which I absolutely love I'm not sure if you can see so I just put some coordinating trim that I have uh, cream and white like a vintage cream and white I use my cinch to bind it and like I said the cover back and front cover is chipboard and um, this is the paper that she cut out to use as a cover um, as I please so I did that and inside try to get it all in frame here so inside I use um, all her die cuts that she sent all I did was create the pages using the papers from the paper pad that she sent and I did something different that I saw on a website can't remember but this lady used fun foam for her pages and I thought hmm I'll try that and see how it works and it was it was okay instead of using cardstock or chipboard you know she used fun foam and just covered it with the designer paper so inside here this is one of her die cuts so I just created like two, use it as two photo mats. And uh, so the picture goes there and you could journal in the back. And here's another one. And you could journal to the back. So that's the inside of the cover. And this is quite quick and easy, easy album. No lot of fuss or anything. So here's one of her dies. This I punch out using the Martha Stewart Hydrangea Punch. And I use a little purple bread there. And the uh, trim. I hope you can see this and trim there I got that from Michaels and I just adhere some little flat back pearl there and this swivel I made it swivel so you could put another picture there so that's the first page here another one of Tere's die cut more trim from Michaels flat back pearls this is a Prima I think flower and I have a layer behind framing it from cutting out with a Martha Stewart punch so that's pretty and here this is one of the envelopes that she put she die cut 
This is from the paper line. I just cut it out, one of those cut apart. Here, a tag from the collection, so you could journal behind there, and it stops right behind there. So you could put a nice picture there, um, Mother Stuart punch, and this dainty little um, crochet trim. So like I said, it's an envelope. This is from the cut apart, and the clothespin, I glossy accent it. The cut aparts are so pretty. And here I put a tag in. I put a little punch out so it could pull. This is from the paper collection. Absolutely pretty. Look at all that shimmer. I love it. So, you know, you could put more pictures or journal inside. And that's the back. And that goes right back in there easily. And here this page is really shimmery. I love it. It's like a, a courtyard beautiful and this is one of her die cut frame and this is from the paper collection I just fussy cut it out glossy accent the close pin there and added three flat back pearls and now it's knotted here so you could slide the picture right in there right in this area I fussy cut this out from the collection and adhere it there I love the the drawing in the background of the chateau here I fussy cut this out from the collection. Absolutely love it. And it's on acetate, so it's sturdy if you could see it there. Um, so, you know, because I, I really wanted this part of the flower, but you could see it's quite flimsy, so I had to put everything on an acetate to create a pocket. This is from the collection. I fussy cut it out and just adhere it there. It's so pretty. I love the color combination. And you could journal in the back there. This slide right there. Not also, this is from the collection. I just fussy cut it out. Adhere it there. Much stored. Punch. A flat back pearl. And it's not adhered on, so a picture could go right here. You know, and you could journal about it. So let it go there. Here, quite simple because I love this swirl in the background. I don't know if you can see that shimmer on the swirl. So I fussy cut this out from the collection and put that there as like a corner piece. Um, cut apart from the collection and it's not adhered all the way down. Here is another envelope. And this is a spellbinder's die. So a picture could go there and inside is just plain tags. Just plain tags to journal or add more pictures. Or memorabilia whatever here uh, MFT dynamics die I think and uh, this pretty crochet type trim that was on the paper collection I fussy cut around it uh, to create a pocket and these are cut apart from the collection look at that chateau isn't that pretty and the postcard with like a paper clip there I fussy cut that out as well you know if it were me I would leave this as is and I would put my picture in the back and leave this as is. And the same here, I would put a picture there and journal here. But that's just me. So that goes right there. And I add here um, trim here, which is the same on the on the binding here. I adhere it there. Some crochet trim from Michaels. This is from the collection, Martha Stewart Bow. And this is from the collection as well, and it's not adhered on, so the picture could go all the way behind there. Here, another page, quite simple, cut apart from the collection. This is what as well. So, a picture could go there, you could journal, whatever, and that goes right there. And here, another cut from Tere. This is from the paper collection that I fussy cut out. So, we have, you know, the picture could go there. So pretty, and this is an envelope. Um, you could journal there if you like, put a picture here. I have a piece of trim there. And here is a tag. I just fussy cut it out from the collection. Um, actually, the paper collection I fussy cut out to look like a tag. I uh, love, love the collage look of this right here. Beautiful. And the back is plain. These are really nice envelopes die that Tere have. Thank you so much, Tere. And this is the back cover. I absolutely love, love, love this page. You know, the image of the buildings and the beautiful, because it's purple, <laughs> and beautiful flowers going on, going on the side there. Absolutely beautiful. So, 
there it is it was quite easy to put together because Teddy did a lot of the work um, you know with the pockets and stuff the envelopes so it came together quite easy I absolutely love it so thanks so much guys for watching liking commenting and subscribing and check out Teddy channel you know tell her I sent you <laughs> thank you so much Teddy and thank you all so much guys have a great weekend bye